Good evening, I'm Lindsay Wright. Well, the HIV epidemic in southeastern Indiana has spread to a second county, but health officials say those cases are isolated and they have no plans for changing their strategy. Jackson County borders Scott County, where the recent HIV epidemic is believed to have originated. A total of five new cases have been reported. The five cases that are reported in Jackson County, all of the contact tracing is complete, and so we feel that those five cases have been um, isolated and contained. Well, as lawmakers negotiate the final details of gaming legislation, the future of live dealers at racetrack casinos remains one of the most controversial provisions. When the gaming bill left the House, it allowed racinos to replace some electronic games with tables that have live dealers. The Senate altered that arrangement, instead allowing racinos to add live dealers beginning in 2021. Centaur Gaming Vice President John Keeler says the House version only permitted 24 live tables between the two facilities, which he says was a good compromise. While well, Little Nashville in Brown County was recently named one of 20 best small towns to visit in 2015 by Smithsonian Magazine, Aubrey Sitzman, Public Relations Coordinator for the Brown County Convention and Visitors Bureau, says Nashville's scenery, art, food, and music make it a tourist destination. Sitzman says the constant and unique forms of entertainment make it stand out to Smithsonian riders. And now for a quick check of the weather tonight is looking mostly clear. With a low of 35, looking into the five-day forecast, tomorrow looks mostly clear, a high of 59. Friday, there's a 60% chance of rain, a high of 62. Saturday, a 70% chance of thunderstorms. Well, for more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.